it is Sunday. Happy Sunday. And I am already dressed for church. I'm just having my coffee in my Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean, however you like to say, mug. I'm just sitting here relaxing and so happy that I don't have to focus on studying every waking moment. Okay, not 100%, but like my downtime now, I would be studying. After work, I would study. On lunch, I would study. And if you guys wonder what I'm talking about, if you've seen the video before, you will know that I passed my real estate exam. I'm excited about. So, yeah, now I just feel like one of those, what do I do with my time? But I'm glad I have my time back. So, yeah, anyway, um, just I'm actually catching up on YouTube subscriptions because I pretty much stopped watching. Not that I stopped watching a lot of people, but I put all that on the back burner because I needed to study. So, yeah, what else has happened, you guys? Mm, <clears throat> I know my voice probably sounds kind of rough. I'm getting over a sickness, so there's that. Yeah, not COVID. I just had a really bad cold. We all were sick. So, yeah, good times. No, not at all. Anyway, y'all, guess what? I finally took that monstrosity down in my bedroom. The big old brown old lady bed is no longer in there. I put it out in the garage actually and I took pictures. I think I told you guys this. I took pictures of it to put on, there's books, there's books. There's groups on Facebook where you can go to your area and post things for free. I'm not gonna try to sell it. They wanna come get it, come pick it up. It's in my garage, they can have it, you know? So I will probably do that. And if not, then I cleaned out one side of my garage. I had stuff taken to the dump and I have to clean out the other side and I'm gonna wait till it gets warmer because it's it's cold it's raining out now and today is actually raining cats and dogs it's kind of crazy outside so yeah um it's in my garage and like I said I will put that on one of the Facebook groups if anyone wants it and if no one responds then oh well you know it's not everyone's taste it's weird how your taste changes over the years because like I told you guys before, when I seen that bed, I fell in love with it. I was, I felt like a queen in it and it was just so beautiful and oh my goodness, it just, it caught my eye. And now it's like, this thing is ugly, it's huge, it's hideous. Yeah, it was just, it was insane. It's insane the fact that my taste changed. So y'all, I did end up getting a bed. Um, it was actually one of the beds that I wanted and when I seen the price had gone down significantly and I'm like I better act now because who knows if it's gonna go back up if it's gonna go back up more I don't know but it's a bed that I got on Amazon I'm not gonna show you guys it but if I'm vlogging in my room I'm not gonna hide it just like when I got these couches because I wanted to do like a whole living room reveal so yeah, and who knows when that video is going to come because I still haven't found a rug that I want. I have area rugs, but now that that big, huge, bulky bed is gone, it opened up so much space. And you know how a sleigh bed at the foot, it has that, you know, other part that's there. And now it's gone completely and it widened my room. It just, I love it. And it also lightened up my room because I don't have anything. Well, I do have a few things that are dark in there that I might change out. But I don't have anything that's, you know, like black or brown anymore in my room. So everything is lightening up. Y'all didn't ask all this, but I'm just letting you know what's been happening, what's going on. Because I know I haven't put out an actual vlog for a while. It's been a minute. So, yeah. And I have my old bedding on the bed. And... It makes the bed look kind of, not dark, but I don't know, it's just because I'm trying to lighten everything up, it doesn't have a good feel to it. So I'm looking for a bedding and I actually think I found one, but y'all, apparently, and I've been told this 
my whole life. I got champagne taste on a beer budget. I mean, yeah, I always like the nice stuff. And nothing's wrong with liking the nice stuff. But the bedding that I've seen that I want, it's like $300. And I didn't pick it because the price, I picked it because I liked it, but I don't know. I just can't see paying $300 for bedding. Maybe a hundred. And even that's a lot, but not 300. So yeah, I gotta keep scrolling. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, I done talked for six minutes. Let me continue drinking my coffee, watching what I'm watching. <laughs> on YouTube and then we're gonna go to church. Okay. It's been a long time since I picked up the camera, but I had a super busy day at work today. That's just my dishwasher. So I had a super busy day at work, but I did want it to vlog more. I usually vlog on my breaks and lunch, but today I just wanted to, it wasn't a bad busy day. It was just a busy day. Anyway, I want to show you guys something. So I realized I never showed you guys, oops, my frother <laughs> that Tyreek got me for Christmas and score because it's Ray Dunn. So I got that, works perfectly fine, love it. But I also decided to get an electric frother, is that what you call it? Yeah, because <laughs> it plugs in. So I decided to get this because this, you just froth the milk, cold milk or whatever. This can heat it also and this makes more I use this when I'm in a hurry and I need to hurry up and get it done and do other things because this one does it for you and it automatically stops as long as the as long as the lid is on this one you have to hold it which is no big deal but it just takes a little bit longer than this one and not that it's a problem but yeah I got two frothers and I'm excited and y'all okay so I know this needs to come up. I pretty much rearranged everything and I didn't show you guys before. I just didn't. Right after work I just started moving things around because I got some plans for this kitchen. I know I redid my kitchen or I did my kitchen before and I don't know. I'm just going to give it a refresh. You guys will see that coming up. Not soon but soon. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So anyways every now and then maybe twice a month. Um, I will take twice a month, no, twice a year, I will take these down, all of my Ray Dunn stuff, and over there, ignore that, um, Shine just has to put her stuff away. I will wash them, give them a good soak, and especially the ones over here, you know, because it's by the stove, but they all get dusty, and of course I wipe them down, but like I said, twice a year, I like to take them down and wash them which is what I did today so yeah that's what I did right after work but this was in that corner this was over here that was over here this <laughs> was here I just made it to where it makes a little bit more sense and I know this looks crazy this huge space but 
I got plans and I know this side needs to come up but I'm not worried about that now because this is gonna change I will tell you guys all about that in an upcoming video but for now yeah this is the setup so far but it will change and I do have more coffee in the cabinet that I just have to put on here so yeah It is after church it's much later it's like almost four o'clock and after church we went do what we needed to do we grabbed some lunch and came back home and everyone pretty much just went in their own corners and usually I come out here and the girls are in their rooms um, probably taking a nap because I know I took a long nap super long nap but I'm still tired, which I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, you've seen that I made hot chocolate. I'm just in the mood for hot chocolate. It's kind of chilly out, even though the sun is out right now and it's a little bit warmer, it's really cold. So made some hot chocolate and <clears throat> I thought I had marshmallows, but the marshmallow bandit then struck again. And if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you guys should be able to figure out who the Marshmallow Bandit is out of my now adult children, <laughs> the ones who live here. A while back, I was reading House of Leaves. That book, it just takes your mind. It, it, that book is insane. So now I'm reading The Silent Patient, which I'm almost halfway to the halfway point. This book is so good. Yeah, I seen it if you happen to see this, Monica. I bought this a while back and I kind of forgot I had it because it was on one of my TBR. And I have like 15 books that I, actual physical books that I need to read. So when Monica put it on her Instagram that she finished the book, I'm like, okay, maybe I should read that one next because I was finishing one on my Kindle. And so, and then I'm like, let me read The Silent Patient next. So I did, and if you see this, Monica, when I'm done with it, then I'll let you know what I thought. I mean, I know you didn't ask, but you know, everyone says it's good. And I even heard that there will be a movie from this book, The Silent Patient. So if any of you readers have read this book, um, Carol, if you do see this, um, and if this is your thing, or if you're going to read it, or if you have read it, let me know what you thought. And so, yeah, but nothing much is going on, y'all, right now. I'm going to be reading a little bit later, but first, I still need to catch up on a lot of YouTube videos that I haven't been watching because when I was studying for my exam, so... I don't know maybe I'll do a little bit of that and yeah but nothing's going on yeah hello it is Thursday evening and I'm just relaxing I have some good news to tell you guys so if you haven't seen my video before this about me passing my real estate exam check that out and I tell you everything about how long it took me and you know me finally passing it but anyway today I went and got my fingerprints done I don't know why I did that um, I got my fingerprints done the live scan and I'm going to mail in my application and you know that comes along with the background check and all that and it takes a while to process so I'm hoping I'm hoping within six weeks hopefully four to six weeks, I will have my actual physical license and I'm going to send in all my paperwork. And like I said, hopefully they said they're backed up a little bit. They're behind. So yeah, we'll see you guys. I know in that last video also, I told you a little bit about my mentor that I had throughout this process. I actually bought my home from her. I've known her many years and we actually went to the same church for a while. So I do know her, I know how she is, she's the sweetest lady, and she does very well in real estate. Yeah, she does very well. And she called me yesterday, and I had been praying about when I do get my license, me getting in a good 
place that will offer training for someone who's still wet behind the ears, so to speak, in this field and who I can learn from and grow and everything. And of course, in my mind, I thought it'd be great to work with her, you know, because I know she'd help me and teach me. But I was kind of afraid to ask. And even though I'm thinking, I'm like, I can just apply to work under the same company that she's in. And then maybe, you know, I don't know. So she called me yesterday and she said that, her um, company is actually putting her in charge of getting together a team of people to sell homes. And I've heard mixed things about teams when it comes to real estate, and I've heard it from her and from other people. When you're on a team with people, it means that those certain people, whoever deal with that transaction of selling a home or whatever it may be, you have to share the commission which at this point, I don't mind because I still have to work a full-time job right now. My arm's getting tired. So I still have to work a full-time job right now and I can't afford to just quit and dive, you know, nose deep in this. So I'm gonna have to do it part-time and plus I need to learn. And I've always thought it would be wonderful to learn up under her. So basically y'all, I have a job waiting for me when I get my license, yeah. There's some shady people in the real estate. Let's just be honest. We all know this, right? So her, I don't know if it's her boss or, well, she's her own boss, but the broker that she's working under assigned this to her or something, something like that. But anyway, she wants people on her team who is ethical, who will get the job done and who will do the right thing. And she said, I came to her mind and she knew I would be a good fit for the team. And yeah, so y'all, I got a job waiting. I just gotta get my license and then I can start working. I'm so excited. In the back of my mind, I thought it'd be great to work under her because I know she would take the time and teach me because she's very patient and she is very quiet, but she knows her stuff. Yeah, you guys, that's all. That's all I wanted to say whole lot of nothing just to tell you guys basically I got a job offer when I get my license so yeah that's it yeah I'm just gonna go read a little bit so I'm still reading the silent patient We are at home, so I ended up getting this book. This has a second one. Savannah recommended this. She actually recommends a lot of my books. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to read that. Then if I like it, then I'll buy the second one. And this one sounds really good as well. So yeah, these are the only two that I bought. And Savannah got like four or five of them. I'll show you guys later. So here's Savannah's book collection. Um, she has more, but I'm trying not to show you her personal things because she wouldn't be happy me showing you her room right now because it's in the process of being painted and she wants to fix it up first but yeah these are all her books well not all of them like I said but some of them and I'm glad we like the same books but sometimes we get different ones so I am going to go through hers eventually and you know read them and then she has these over here <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
it's Sunday and I'm ready for church as you can see. So her room, just like mine, is under construction. Um, she knows what she wants, but she is, just like me, waiting to find the perfect item for everything. So yeah, um, I didn't show you guys how her room looked before, but I'll show you guys afterwards because I'm sure she's going to be proud of it because so far it's turning out really, really nice. So yeah, um, what else was I going to say? She hasn't found a place exactly how she wants to put her books permanently. That right there that I showed you guys, that's just temporarily because her room is in the process of being fixed up the way she wants it to be done. That's it for that. I just realized I didn't show you guys the, I still didn't show you guys the books that she bought the day that we went to Barnes and Noble. I'm still tired, you guys. Anyway, let me finish drinking my coffee because I'm not fully awake apparently. Hi guys, so today is Friday, um, it's after work, I'm just running a few errands, but y'all, so in four weeks, I will be a licensed real estate agent, but I don't know if I told you guys this, I feel like I have, I don't know, when I get my license, it's going, it's not going to be active, I have to be working under a broker for it to be active, but I will have my license, so, hold on. So when I get my license, hopefully everything can be up and running with my friend because she, like I said, she's getting that team together and then I can start working. So yeah, I'm on my way to Winco right now because for some weird reason, I feel like having spaghetti for dinner. So I'm going to get, I don't have ground beef. I do have spaghetti at home, but I think I may get some more just to have it in the cabinet. So yeah, let's go shopping.
they get stuck pretty easily. And they get stuck on them. Fill them back like that. Thank <laughs> you.